Grace Gamer here and welcome back to another speed build. And in today's speed build, we are renovating a house in, um, is it Conifer? Con Conifer Station? Conifer Station? Whatever it's called. It's one of those words. It's one of those. Either Conifer or Conifer. Whichever one. I think it's the second one. I think it's Conifer Station. Well, it's a new neighborhood in Evergreen Harbor. One of the neighborhoods there. And they, um, pretty much, uh, how they put it in the live stream gameplay of The Sims, this is more of the neutral stage of how your world should be looking like to where it's not muggy and nasty like Port Promise. Um, this is more neutral <laughs> and it's neutral stage to where, um, it's not as nasty and muggy, but you still, but they're trying to get there where everything is eco-friendly so i try to make this house a little more eco-friendly for um people to come and it looks nicer it just looks nicer because y'all port promise just look nasty it still looks nasty in counter counter, counter for station whatever whatever this place is called but i chose this particular lot um because of the fact i love the train station behind it I don't know why. I had this feeling in this prediction. I think they're going to be coming out with transportation stuff. I'm not sure if it's going to be in a stuff pack, game pack, or base, you know, base game update. I don't know. But for us to have a train station, even though it's an older one to where it's not really functional, but I feel like there is hope. <laughs> I feel like there is hope. And... I have a feeling that we're going to be having cars and transportation real soon. Not sure when, but I know it's coming. So, and also we need to get better babies. Just saying. Maybe a, I know we're getting a rocking chair. So I think that's coming to where we can rock our babies now in the rocking chair. Anyway, um, so with this people, I didn't do too much on the outside. I kind of just like brought in a lot of, um, more of like a, bolder colors and stuff like that i use a lot of black um it just felt like the the place looked better with this color especially um it made it look better i don't i don't know when i looked at the houses before i picked this particular one it just felt like every house was just the same plain and i was like this house needs to stand out because i'm not feeling these houses with the same color the same backyard and need something different so that's what i did thankfully eco lifestyle has some cool wallpapers that kind of reminded me of an outside type of background i don't know <laughs> it just looked way better than what it used to look like and i also changed out the windows and the front door and all that stuff and i also moved the i took out the back door um i took that one out because of the fact i could when I started, before I hit the recording button, I couldn't find the, the fridge. I couldn't find the fridge. And wh whoever built this house from The Sims, I'm sorry, but don't put the fridge in a corner like that because I couldn't find it. I, I just could not find it. I'm not kidding. It literally took me like 10 to 15 minutes before I found it. And this is before I hit the record button to start the speed build. <laughs> I was like, where is the fridge? I don't know where the fridge is. Then I found it. I was like, wow, you put it in a corner. Okay. But as you can see, I use, you're going to see in this entire pretty much speed build, I've used a lot of more of the eco lifestyle, build and buy most stuff, and other packs of the game. But the only thing I did not use for the game pack and all that stuff was the kitchen and the bathroom. Everything else is pretty much from base game, other expansion packs, stuff packs, and yada, yada, yada. But, except for the kitchen. I had, I'm sorry, you guys. I had to use Peacemaker. I just had to use Peacemaker for the bathroom and the kitchen because it, it needed it. It needed that little flow of how I was going with, and I was like, Peacemaker looks so great in the kitchen. <laughs> His, the work that the Peacemaker does, it would look, it just looked perfect of, what my vision was going for in the kitchen so i was like uh yes please so but 
Um, I would say my favorite thing about this house, y'all, it's the it's the floors. It's the flooring in the kitchen and the bathroom. And I love the new wallpaper that we have and the windows. Those are like my favorites in this in this entire building. Especially not only that, I never thought I would use a lot of debug items, but I did. And so yeah, make sure you turn that on on too. I think you I think you need to turn it on before you could download the house or anything. I think I'm not sure, but make sure you have that. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comment section. Do you have to have the debug uh, the I said debug the debug um show hidden objects on or not? I don't think you do, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Um, but I know with the um, BB, uh, BB dot move objects on. I know you need to have that one on as well um, because I did move some things around and thankfully I'm so happy that we can just place the, the front door anywhere especially the windows too so much easier but yeah I really love this kitchen Peacemaker came out with this cute cute kitchen that I found on the website and I was like yeah don't think I was really surprised when I was finished and I was doing the screenshots for this. I forgot to put upper cabinets, but I felt like it didn't need upper cabinets. I don't know. I, I just wasn't, not saying I didn't want upper cabinets, but I was just like, I don't think this house needs upper cabinets. You know, when I was just building it and it wasn't on my brain to do upper cabinets. So I don't know. It just didn't feel like it needed it, but I like it. I hope you guys like it too. But, but also, um, the only thing I did not show that I added on later in the build right after I, um, stopped recording, I know I added like a little reading nook type of area and the mini hallway. When you walk up the stairs, I did add like one of the chairs from Eco Lifestyle and I think I add one of the shelvings on the wall and also I think I added some more debug declutter stuff no not no not de no not from debug I added another plant um in the corner of the bedroom upstairs I just add like the same plant on both sides um I think that's it I don't know if I added anything else but if I did I'll let you guys know in the comment section and I'll just pin I'll pin it for you guys so you guys be like, oh, this is what, if, she, if I missed anything. And y'all let me know if I missed anything. Um, but the only thing you guys are going to see in the description below is the two custom content links from Peacemaker. One for the kitchen and the other one for the bathroom. Um, I think that's the only thing that I use. Everything else is from the game play, game stuff packs, and all that stuff. Like I said, um, as you guys saw, you know, I started to use a little bit of the Tiny Living. I just, I just got that. I'm so excited. I got Tiny Living. My next goal is to get the Moschino stuff pack. Reason why is because I saw um, one of my favorite simmers that I like watching, Vixella. She used one of their rugs. And I was like, where? <laughs> where did that rug come from? And it came from Moschino's pack. And I was like, I've got to get that pack. And I think right now um, they're having a sale on all of their um, packs. Not sure what the percentage is. I know for the stuff packs, I think it, I think they said it was 25% off and the game packs are 20% off, but I'm not sure. You guys can let me know down below um, the percentages for the, I know they're having a sale right now. I'm just, I just wish it was a little bit more, but anyway, but I'm very excited, and also I know i gotten some updates on the EA Play Live. It's coming out not this week, but next week. So I will be watching because I want to know what the new game pack is. I already know what the new stuff pack is, and that's Nifty Knitting. That's, I think that's what it is, Nifty Knitting? I don't know. I forgot what, I forgot what it was called. I think it's called Nifty Knitting. Which I'm kind of happy, but not, I don't know what we're going to get in the stuff pack. The only thing I was kind of excited about is the rocking chairs. Because I feel like that's a speculation of saying you're going to fix the babies. 
to where now we can rock the babies to sleep. Because in The Sims 3, I, that was like the best part about having the babies is rocking them to sleep and changing their diapers. Because I was, or, oh, and the baby strollers. But that's just my opinion. But I'm thinking, okay, this is, this is the spec. I'm just saying, are you coming out with better babies this time? I mean, that can be really helpful. Just saying. So, but that's just, that's just me. But I, I don't know what they're doing. So that's, I think that's the new stuff pack. But if they come up with another stuff pack and this is just like what they're giving us, then I'm like, okay, we can get a new stuff pack. But that's just me. And also, I don't know, but not only that, I think they're giving us predictions about the transportation because for us to have this train station, even though we can't use it as like transportation, it's like it's it's a it's an older transportation transportation building of trains. But the fact that we can go up there and do plants and stuff like do the gardening and all that. But my, I feel like that's their way of, I don't know. This is just my opinion. I feel like that could be the way of saying we're probably coming out with transportation. I don't know when, but I hope it's soon because I feel like that would be another game changer for this. Especially for The Sims 4 because I feel like The Sims 4, I love building and the fact that I get to not only build, but then I can also put like a garage, you know, that could be really cool in the gameplay. Just saying, when I do my builds, that could be really cool. I can do garage and <laughs> all that cool stuff. But I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to let you get back into the build and watch me do my thing. But I, oh, also... I did not put a screenshot for the little area where you walk up the stairs. That's the only screenshot I did not do. Um, and also the bathroom because you guys know. I don't know. Y'all let me know how do y'all make a screenshot for the bathrooms because I feel like I cannot get a right angle every time I do the bathroom. I just can't. I was trying my best to get a good, perfect angle so you guys can take a screenshot. I can take a screenshot of the bathroom and it's like I cannot get a good shot at all. It just won't let me. But let me know how you guys do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and share. Follow me on social media. And I shall see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you Baby up with a slow motion crew And we up in our growlings when people change but not us And we just chilling, kicking it, kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin and